Hello everyone, welcome to a new Terraria 1.4 building video. I haven't made one of these in a while, but the release of 1.4 hugely inspired me. So not only will I be working on FMT, Fury's modded Terraria, and building a lot in that series, but I will also be doing a full series with Chaos, Blue JT Gaming, The Last Creator, and special guests, and will be building a lot in that world as well. I also wanted to do some standalone building videos, like this one, although this build is going to eventually become something much more. Let's get started and I'll talk about that. So this build started as a showcase for a couple different things that were added in 1.4 that I love, iron bricks, and especially illuminant paint, which I'm totally in love with, but we'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. The iron bricks, uh, which I'm building with right now, the gray-brown bricks, I'm really happy that they added these because they fill a, a gap that uh, was needed to be filled in Terraria to make kind of the whole dark and dingy tech-based type of theme to build and so, as soon as I thought of that, as soon as I saw these things, it immediately sparked a bunch of memories. And I've talked about this on stream before and in some videos, but before there was Terraria, I had experience creating custom maps in Doom, classic Doom, Ultimate Doom, Doom 2, Doom 1 and Doom 2. And so... That's basically what got me into Terraria, like before, when Terraria came out, I was in the Doom community making Doom maps, and then I saw this game and I was like, oh my god! So now, these blocks were added, and the aluminum paint, when I tried them, testing them together, they gave me just this idea, like, totally inspired by Doom, to create kind of like a, a Doom map in Terraria. So that's basically what I'm going to be doing. This build right here is just kind of like a test. Uh, but I will be basically creating an entire Doom Adventure map in Terraria. And it's going to be very action-focused. Basically, like, a, like Doom. And uh, there were people who were working on a Doom map in the past, and they posted some really nice-looking screenshots on Reddit. However, they never ended up finishing the map, and uh, yeah, I think it's just been completely abandoned. Maybe one day they'll pick it up again. So it's something that I've really been wanting for a long time. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of, obviously, Terraria, but also Doom. And so I was like, well, let me make it myself then. Even though I'm not going to get the, I guess, I'll get the satisfaction of creating it. But I won't get that satisfaction of actually playing it, you know, blind or, or anything. But if other people enjoy it, then uh, then I'll get the enjoyment from that. So I'm going to be working on that for a while. I guess let's talk about the build now. This is basically just a, an appetizer, pretty much. Using, as I said, iron brick, some lead brick and lead brick wall and uh, some cobalt brick and cobalt brick wall, a lot of that stuff. And it's a very uh, symmetrical build, but I like the way it turned out. I basically, it's more than being a uh, time-lapse build, it's also a speed build. I forced myself to build this very quickly and just get it out. So I didn't really take time to, to plan out a, uh, you know, an asymmetric type of layout. I wanted to just, like, get this thing done. So, it has two rooms. It's gonna have one square room on this side, and then another one on the other side. Both of them are valid housing. And I'll be uploading this entire, this world, after, in the description of this video, it'll be linked. So you can download it if you want to use this build for yourselves. And the map itself, like the actual Doom custom map, is going to take me a while to make. But I'm going to be, it's something I'm going to be working on, off and on, until it's finished. Because it's something that I'm very passionate about, and I want to make that. So, and that's one of the things, like 1.4 came out, and it just inspired me to do 
way, way, way more building than I've done in a long time in everything. I'm going to be working on, like I said in the beginning, FMT, the collaboration series, one-off videos, etc., etc. So here, let me describe some of the detail I'm using. That's a Midnight Confetti Block actuated and painted gray to give it more of like a monitor type of look with scan lines. The nice new Terraria 1.4 tree in a pot. Uh, gray painted slime chair, which I think fits really well in with the uh, tech builds. And then some more like a monitor over here with the base stand made out of cogs. And the uh, monitor once again at a midnight confetti block. And then over here, we're just going to do the same exact thing on this side, except we're going to decorate the room a little bit differently. It's not going to be exactly the same. So I put a glass lamp on the floor over here, some metal crates to decorate it a little bit more, and then I need a Dynasty Wood workbench painted gray to make it a suitable house. And I accidentally painted that crate, so I would scrape it off real quick. Now we're going to use some gray painted cobalt brick just to top off the roof a little bit but at this point I felt like I really needed to add some more detail around the base of the central tower so I used cogs as kind of like cable housing with some black painted disc wall around the edges and then I wanted to start some some towers around the bottom here as well so gray painted cobalt brick for the base I like at making builds that if they're very symmetrical, I kind of make the design a little bit more complicated by adding some background towers to builds and kind of blending that in just to give the a little bit more depth without making an actual isometric build or any kind of a pseudo 3D build. I just like adding some depth. And uh, so lots of stone platforms also, which is another new uh, building material, another new platform which is really, really great, and I'm going to be using them a lot. Some, uh, lots of gray paint, of course. Gray painted cobalt brick wall. And then again, on this side, we do the same thing. Same exact thing. Like I said, very symmetrical. And now, another one of my favorite new materials, the anti-portal block. I'm just going through the entire build, adding some more block variation by using these. I'm not using them for their anti-portal properties, but uh, they just fit in really well with the iron brick, I think, and add a little bit more diversity to the thing. And these can be gotten or bought from the traveling merchant in hard mode. Randomly, of course, his inventory changes all the time. But yeah, I just wanted to add some more block variation. And then just going to add a little bit of a foundation. Very simple. Not much detail to it. Just the wall in the background. Just some stone slab down here just to get rid of that uh, natural, naturally spawned dirt wall. And then we're going to hammer a little bit of the landscape down here just to make it a, look a, a tad more natural. Just a tad Another monitor in the background behind that crate up there. And now we're going to start working on the landscape a little bit out here. Just to add a little bit, break up the symmetry a little bit outside of the build by uh, breaking some walls over here and kind of running with the whole Doom theme. So on this side, this is going to be the clean side. And the other side is going to be the very uh, kind of hellish side. So I'm going to build kind of, this is the main entrance. So it's a little entrance outside hallway. And we'll eventually add a, a sculpture with the company name on it. And the company name being UAC, the Union Aerospace Corporation, I believe. I can't believe I forgot the exact name, but I'm pretty sure that's it. UAC. So we're going to do a lead brick wall out here, topped with some black painted stone platforms, which the stone platforms are amazing. And then I wanted to add some floor detail, so some lighting coming from the floor, because we're going to be experimenting with the, with the illuminant paint here. So this is the beginning of the sculpture, just a little bit of a stand at the bottom. 
some actuated stone slab and then stone slab wall on top of that. And then I was like, well, I kind of want to not have the wall, the lead brick wall connecting to this. So I start breaking it away. This part takes me a little bit of time to really figure out exactly what I want to do. And I think it turned out okay. The actual sculpture I'm making out of anti-portal block. So there's the U. Just some, a few little slopes in it. Just very simple. Simple U and then an A and then a C after this. That are all six blocks wide. But this one, the C, I was like, hmm... Is it too big? Did I want to make the whole thing smaller? And then I decide just to stick with it like this. And I think it's fine. No no problem. The lighting will, will make it look a little bit better. That's one of the major parts of this entire build is the, the aluminum paint lighting, which we're going to be doing very soon. So then I just want to complete this, uh, the symmetry, because it was a little bit bigger than I anticipated. Okay, now out here, this side is going to be like the hellish, fleshy area. And in the Doom games, there's different hellish environments. And one of the different themes that's used a lot is kind of like a, like a fleshscape. So that's what this is. Because 1.4 also added a lot of really cool crimson materials, including these crimson walls, which totally fit in with a Doom type of theme. So that's what I'm just kind of just uh, experimenting right now, kind of live while recording this. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. I was just like, I don't know. We'll just throw them together. A little bit of these crimson bricks too, which are amazing. And I was like, yeah, we'll just see what happens. So that's what this is right here. It's having fun. And for everyone who always asks me, and these crates are amazing too, new additions. People ask me for building tips. My biggest building tip ever would be just build for you. Just treat it like you're like you're just doodling in a sketchbook, basically. Just have fun. Grab a bunch of materials and just have fun with them. See what happens, you know? And also use real life buildings or buildings from other games or books or movies or TV shows and not just buildings, but scenes locations. Use that stuff for inspiration. And look, now we got a little nice skull pile down here. Let's just clean up a little bit. And now I wanted to get started with some more background towers above the rooms on both sides. And both rooms are valid NPC housing. So I thought that would be pretty important, especially since I'm uploading this world. I want people to actually be able to maybe use it if you want, because it's right at spawn. This is the spawn point. And of course I use shadow painted logic gates with logic lamps on top of them as kind of antenna on all of these background towers. And now for the cherry on top, the creme de la creme, the illuminant paint. And as you can see, I'm painting both the background wall and the ground, the tiles underneath the diamond gem spark tube lights. This stuff, you can buy it if the painter is in a graveyard biome. And this is the main reason why I kept the detailing pretty simple throughout the build, because I knew that I was going to go in and add all this mood lighting with the aluminum paint. And this lighting style is definitely very inspired by the way that I used to do lighting in Doom as well. And here's the one drawback to using aluminum paint. It's a paint and not an actual lighting effect, so you can't use it with things you've already painted another color, unfortunately. So, still one of my favorite paints, you just can't use it on things you've already painted. And here, I wanted to add some, basically play with it, light and shadow around the uh, UAC sign. A little bit more decoration out there and a bench and then just a little bit more here to change this room up a little bit some books some shelves and books and i was like what else am i going to put out here let's just use some stone and some of this new krypton moss and then let's actuate it because it stays pretty bright 
just as like, I don't know, a little decoration. Anyway guys, so here is the complete build. Again, check the description of the video if you want to download this. I hope you all have a fantastic day. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace.